good sanitation may not be enough to gain adequate control of fungal needle blights in pine trees. Oftentimes, protective fungicides are needed to gain the control you want. There are two types of fungal needle blights of pine here in the Midwest. We have Dothostroma needle blight and Diplodia needle blight. The first thing you might need to do if you feel that you have a needle blight on your pine trees is get a diagnosis. For Dothostroma needle blight, fungicides with the active ingredient Mancozeb or copper-based products will provide adequate control and need to be applied around mid-May. For Diplodia tip blight control, fungicides containing the active ingredient thiophanate methyl, propiconazole, chlorothalonil, or copper-based products will provide adequate control. With Diplodia tip blight, these products need to be applied at bud break and depending on the product may need to be reapplied every couple of weeks until the candle has fully emerged. Dothostroma needle blight will only affect second year needles or older and what you'll see is that from the point of infection towards the tip of the needle that entire needle will die but from the point of infection down to where that needle is attached to the fascicle of the tree that needle will remain healthy so you have a zone of dead needles towards the outside of a branch and the inner needles are still alive. With Dipl uh, Diplodia tip blight only the tips or the new, newly elongating candles will be affected and die. So just this year's um, brand new candles that are emerging will eventually turn brown and die when you have Diplodia tip blight. Oftentimes trees aren't severely infected unless you have repeat infections year after year. You will experience some limb or branch dieback with these needle blights, but the death of the entire tree won't occur unless you have continuous infection year after year. So this is the time of year when we need to start thinking about applying these fungicides if you have a history of pine needle blights in your landscape.